Okay, everybody, this is Vincent St. Louis at JetStreamBoxInfo.com. Just going to walk you through how to update your XBMC. What you're going to look for is go to My Apps, click on that. And what you're going to look for is that add on right there. That app. OTA, not that one. You're going to want this one with the little Android dude. If you do not see that, then there's two ways that you can update it or add it to. And let me show you how to do those. Okay, everybody. If you do not see that add-on, is um, you go to add-ons. And what you're going to do is you're going to do a channel wizard twice. And it should show up. And I'll show you where it's going to show up. So you do that one right there. Do that channel wizard. And do it twice. Okay. And then it should show up. Back at your home screen, it should show up and you go to apps, and then you go to app installer, right there, you click on that, and then you're going to go local disk, and wait for it to process, okay, and there it is, right there, you see it, so it should show up right there, maybe try doing your your channel wizard one time and see if it shows up if it doesn't show up there then do it again and it should show up okay then all you got to do is click on that and and there you go now I'm not going to do it right now because I want to show you how to do the other process okay you guys the other way to do it is to get yourself a flash drive and go to the link below and then connect your flash drive into the side of the box then what you're going to do is go to, let me see if I remember how I did this, go to downloads, okay there it is, then it'll show up on from your flash drive into there, and then all you have to do is click, so once you go to download you'll see it in there from your flash drive, and then you just want to download, now that flash drive is empty, except for the only thing that's on there is that Android um, UTA upload updater okay so you might want to use a fresh one or an empty one if not then you're just gonna to have to scroll through until you see that see what it says okay and then that's where you just click on it and you unload it okay you guys so now if you've got it on your so if you see if you don't see the the add-on and you've already went to and you've done your channel wizard Turn off your box and turn it back on. Go to local disk. Right there you see it. Okay. Let it process. Okay. Then you're going to go to it. It's the third one down right here. You see it. And then click on it. Okay. And then you're going to go install. And let it install and then open and then you're going to want to download and then you're going to want to clear okay let's go okay so now it's downloading it might take a couple minutes so I'm going to pause this and come back okay now while it's downloading what's the one thing I want to show it says right there new version of XBMC please select wipe data and wipe cache to update properly so make sure you do that I'll show you that here in a minute okay everybody see here wipe out data and clear cache make sure you check them both let me grab my remote and I'm going to check on that one so they're both checked and then install See that? They're both checked and installed. Reboot recovery. Install. Okay, it's going to take a while for that to process. You can see right there that mine's got a ways to go. And I've got pretty good internet speed. You'll see this guy spinning around there. And then just let it go. Make sure once you start it, do not stop it. Okay, so let it go through the process and then we'll be right back. Okay, so here we go. Now it's going to go through this process of rebooting just like you did the first time you did it. So go through that process, hook up your Wi-Fi.
Now, just a little tip, you guys. When you're doing your Wi-Fi, I like to get my little cursor out and go up here and click on Show. That way you don't make a mistake. Some of those routers, um, the, the, the password is really brutal. So make sure that you go over there and click on your, your cursor. And then when you get rid of your cursor, it's always better to move it away from stuff so it's in the middle of nowhere and then get rid of it hit the cursor and OK and make it go away and then go down there and uh, and enter your password okay guys I'm done setting up my router now what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna go here to the new XBMC sig signal or at app look how much faster it works you guys that thing is spinning across the, the screen so once that gets loaded up Okay, sometimes you might have to do the second part of a master reboot. We'll see what happens here. So yes, I will have to. So what you're going to want to do, if you've got this and all, you don't have any of those add-ons back down there, then what you want to do is you want to click over, over, over to system. Then on here, you're going to go down to add-on. Okay, then you're going to click on... Um, Okay, just click on OK, and then go here to install from zip file, and then go over here to Jetstream, and then wait a couple minutes, and then hit the back, 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 get over, over, go to add-ons, and do channel wizard. Okay, do you want to customize? Yes. Okay, let it go through that process and you should be good to go. Hope this helps you guys.